we have been always interested in studying human behavior at scale and Twitter is a prime example where you can get enough data to do this. Previously people have looked at things like can we predict where people are, you know, location-wise based on what they talk about and also who they associate with. And that's interesting but we were thinking can we do even better? Can we infer something that's not obvious and could be potentially very useful for individuals as well as organizations? And so we looked at the tweets and said, well, we have fine-grained GPS for millions of people. They self-report on what they are doing at any given time. It would be really interesting if we can manage to figure out how do they feel. So we track what people are talking about on Twitter. And from that, we can infer, for example, that they have an influenza-like disease. If somebody tweets, you know, I'm, I feel sick, I've been in bed all day, we can infer from that that they're more likely to have the flu than somebody who says everything is great, I'm happy. We created an app where you can actually explore the patterns of disease spread, um, where we show you, you know, on a map where the sick people have been, and since we know where you are based on your device's location, we can show you the whole context, where you have been, where the sick people have been, how they could have impacted your health, and also how they can influence your health going forward. We make predictions up to eight days into the future what's your health going to be like based on what you have done recently. We have shown that people who take the subway often and people who go to bars and people who live to, close to pollution sources are significantly more likely to catch the flu. But the predictions are about 90% accurate. So, which means when we say somebody's going to be sick tomorrow, 90% of the time we are right. We track um, about 10 cities around the world, mostly in the US. Uh, for long periods of time. So we have a pretty good idea of what is a typical day in terms of disease look like in those cities. Now, when a new day comes in, we can compare this new day from a typical day that we have learned from historical data. And then we can issue alerts and say, you know, New York City is, we see many more sick people than we would expect on a typical day. As people are maybe more worried or more interested in flu, they come to our site much more. So on a typical day, it's not unusual to see tens of thousands of people actually playing with this app. It can be used at a personal level for you to make informed decision about whether you take this train or the next one. And governments and local authorities can use this to get an additional signal as to what's happening in their jurisdiction. And we are talking to CDC about a potential pilot where you can use this uh, to see you know, what's happening in real time a production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.